To pray in the Spirit is to pray in Him as a being, that person who has a will, who has a mind, who has a desire. When you pray according to the Spirit, you're aligning yourself with what He's thinking. You're aligning yourself with what he's saying. This is why it's possible to pray in the flesh and not in the spirit. Think about the fact that atheists pray if they get into a bad enough situation. Think about the fact that people of false religions pray. It's something they do every single day. There's no one hearing them. There's no power in that prayer. They're not connecting with anything. So it's possible to pray from the outer shells of the human nature. Now, 1 Thessalonians 5.23 reveals to us that man consists of a body, a soul, and the spirit. Your body is your earth suit, your connection with the world around you. Your soul is the realm of decision. It's where the free will is exercised. But the spirit is the innermost being referred to in John chapter 7 verse 38, where Jesus said, out of your innermost being will flow rivers of living water.